Hello, and welcome to my Rosie Talks channel. This will be the channel that I use to randomly ramble about anything and play some games while I do it. For my episode 0, I thought I might as well show you my Jewel Blades only file that I've been working on. I've had this file for, I think, a year and a half now, and it's just been something that I've streamed on my Twitch channel every now and again. So I thought I'd give a progress update to YouTube since I never really post anything onto YouTube besides speedruns, but that's kind of the focus of this channel, is to do more casual things and maybe have some guest appearances on, which would be really cool. So for my set I have full Tiestra armor. I just have this because I like Tiestra a lot so I usually get their armor. I gemmed in Sword Sharpener though, because Sword Sharpener is one of my favorite abilities in Mod Hunter. I just really like being able to sharpen quicker. Gets me into the fight. And I can do it during the fight, which is risky, but it's kind of what I like to do. And if we take a look at my guild card, 429 quests so far. So the goal of this file is to just learn dual blades because back in the day I never really used to play with dual blades much so I thought I would just make this file and try it out and see how it felt and what I could learn. I purposely banned myself from using dash juices though since I thought it would kind of cheapen the experience. In my box this is all the weapons I have so far. I have them organized in a very strange way, but it works for me. I kind of understand where everything is. If you're wondering why I have swords and shields though, it's because some weapons require swords and shields to get to them. It's a very strange old generation thing. I don't think it happens very much in the newer gens. It requires you to have a different weapon type. And then my armor sets here. When I, whenever I play Monster Hunter, I prefer to stick with full armor sets instead of mixing and matching and having a clown gear. Except for this stuff, because this is um, gathering gear. So a gathering set I, I will mix and match because it I don't really use them that often, so I don't see myself in some goofy looking gear much, but that's that. And then if we go into the village we can see I have everything with granny done for Nico I have everything done except one which is monster hunter I don't think I'm ready for this yet I'm gonna grind up some more gear before I attempt this and the urgent rise to the summit I've done that one already so in the guild I'm currently HR6 which is not bad uh, I do plan on doing everything I possibly can in this file, which does come to the unfortunate part of... I would like to 100% this file, but just from the nature of the file, I can't. Um, the reason being is the school, the training quests, require you to use different weapon types, which would break my rule of only using dual blades, so... I'm not quite sure what to do with that yet. I, I don't know if I should just um, leave it as is or if I should just break the rule for the training school so I can unlock everything. From what I know, you can unlock Fate Palace if you don't do the training school, so it would be a bit of a shame if I can't fight him on this file, so I'm not really sure what to do about that just yet. I'm, I'll think about it for a while. I've still got plenty of stuff to do on this file, so I'm in no rush. I plan on doing some casual gaming on this channel while I just ramble about things, and I wouldn't mind doing some quests on this file as part of that, so... I do have some guest appearances in mind, so that could be really cool. And yeah, this is just a very chill focused channel for me because in my main channel it's mainly just speedrunning. 
And I'm not getting tired of speedrunning or anything, it's still very fun for me, and I love speedrunning, it's my passion, but sometimes I just like to chill and talk about random things. So that will be the main focus of this channel. So this video is going to be short, it's not going to be as long as future ones, but I just kind of wanted to put something out there and explain what's going on. Because I made this channel last year, I think. In the future, I do have some plans. Um, I've edited some of another video, which is a guide for monsters in Freedom Unite. I don't know that when that's going to be finished, but I I am editing that, and hopefully that will be out at some point. And as for the main channel, I have a project planned which I'm going to be working on very soon. I have the thumbnail ready for it already, which I can tease right here. So it's going to be a series based on Freedom Unite. It's not going to be a speedrun, but it is going to be a very big challenge. I, it's something that I don't think anyone else has done yet, maybe, but as far as I'm aware, it's a unique challenge, so I'm excited to do that. I think it'll be Monster Hunter content related to start, but I would like to branch out eventually. That will be everything from me for now. I'll see you next time.